All right, I'm going to get this out the way. Look, if I've been annoying you on social medias or anywhere like that, just block me now because it's only going to get worse, win or lose. Far too often I have heard the Eagles got lucky. I wish my team played backups and Danny Jones, 49er players even going as far as saying they would have won if they just had one more quarterback. And I'm sick of it. The Philadelphia Eagles are now days away from playing for their second franchise ring, but all I hear is how Dallas fans wish they had our path or how the Niners got robbed because we took two of their quarterbacks out. Give me a break. So let's get into it. Now, before we do, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe for daily Eagles content. We are on the road to 5K, and I'd appreciate all of your support in getting there. Now, let's start with the week schedule argument. This can be easily dispelled by saying you play who you play and you beat who you play, right? But let's dive deeper. The Eagles are now the third team in NFL history to go on and have nine wins against winning teams during a season. They join the Patriots, who have done it three times, and the Vikings, who have done so once. So if we are trash, so are the 69 Vikings, so are the 03, 04, and 07 Patriots, which are hating ass. Let's not forget to mention that, including the playoffs, the Eagles are now 7-1 and one versus playoff teams this year. Our one loss coming to the Dallas Cowboys with Minshew as our starter. No excuses, just context. But if I'm being 100% honest, I don't even care about the regular season anymore. My focus has been these playoffs. Everyone is back to zero and zero and anything can happen. I've been on record saying that this has been one of the most dominant playoff runs in NFL history. And I was right. All you salty crybabies were wrong. Dear 49ers, another backup quarterback wouldn't have helped you when you are trying to block our best pass rusher with your backup tight end. But yet, our coach has gotten a free ride. In the NFL, every team has talent, and it's up to our coach to maximize said talent. Look at the Giants. You can argue that this offseason, the previous offseason, they lost a lot of talent. Yet, a change in the head coaching position vaulted them into the playoffs. Now, were the Giants the greatest team in the NFL? Obviously not. But the Niners were supposed to expose our offense. Going into the game, Niners fans knew their defense needed to win that game, and we dropped 31 on y'all. Purdy didn't expose anything except for his soft nature. But I said one of the most dominant of all time, right? The Eagles' 69-14 to margin in just two games marks the first time since the 1989 season that a team has won by more than 24 points in back-to-back -back playoff games. But we're lucky, right? Niners did it in 89, so shout out to them. The only other two teams who have done it was also actually the Niners in 88, but also the 85 Bears. The only three teams, you know, to do it in a single postseason. No one talked about their strength of schedule. Shoot, I'd love for anyone in the comments to tell me who were the quarterbacks that they faced? Who were the teams that got injured, right? I'm sure no one of importance got injured on their respective runs. But yeah, Philly is just lucky. I'm tired of it. It is time for the NFL and NFL fans to give us the respect we deserve. Jalen Hurts has put on a show. This team has put on a show from top to bottom. The Eagles coaching staff, Howie Roseman, all the way down to a Britton Covey, down to a Brent Kern, down to a Aaron Sipos. Any player you want to talk about has come with it. We have had Josiah Scott go in there, play some decent football for us. Kayvon Wallace has played some decent football for us. I'm not going to sit here and say that the Chiefs are going to get walked over. I'm not going to sit here and say that the Chiefs aren't competition. But this whole Philly just got lucky narrative that people are, are, are throwing out there is absolute garbage. All right. 
I can't wait for Sunday. And if the Eagles go out there and blow out the, the Kansas City Chiefs, we will be only one of two teams, right? That 89 Niners team went on to win three games by, by more than 24 points. We will join them as the only team to have done that. So all this lucky talk, it's got me hungry. It's got me starving. I, I'm going to be real with you because I can't wait to shut y'all up. But other than that, man, I just had to get that out of my system, out of my soul. You guys let me know what you think. Are the Eagles just lucky? Or is this just a lucky team? I would love to know what you guys are thinking. But other than that, y'all know what it is, man. It is Fly Eagles Fly. And we are out here. Peace! Thanks for tuning in.